Welcome to our first episode of Fifth Grade Struggles, where we're finding solutions to overcome any struggle that fifth grade encounter. I am Victor Garcia, the host of this first episode. So, division. How many of you do I have to divide? Too many steps, maybe? Well, today we're going over how to divide the easy way. With us today, we have Kibrot and Marisol that will explain how to divide the easy way. So, do you guys struggle with division? No, not at all. Mr. Lusto, my first grade teacher, taught me a simple method that made division a piece of cake. When I entered fifth grade and division came along, I was very worried because I did not understand the entire process of division. I will get confused with other steps. Fortunately, my fifth grade teacher also uses the box method and if I only click, now I can divide with no problems. Wonderful! Can't wait what the box method is all about. Let's get down to business and show us how to divide the easy way. Well, the first step and the most important is to always have your multiplication chart. So, if your problem is 647 divided by 7, we will focus on the division, which will tell us the multiples table to focus on. And in this problem, we will focus on the multiples of 7. When the first number we are dividing is more from our divisor, no groups can be made, so ultimately add a zero on top of the first box. Seven is zero. Put a zero under the six and subtract. The six moves to the following box. Our new number is 64. We ask ourselves how many groups of seven can we make with 64? In this case, it is 63. Seven times nine is sixty-three. We will subtract the sixty-three from the sixty-four. One is different, so the one we move it to the next box. Our new number is seventeen. We repeat the steps. How many groups of seven? Can we make with 17? We look at the multiplication chart. We see that 7 times 2 is 14. So that took us on top of our third box, and 14 will subtract from 17. The difference is 3. So our quotient is 90, 92, remainder 3, and that's how you do it. Our next example is 655 divided by 5. First you need to do an elongated box. And to break each number for what divide. First, we need to see at our multiplication chart. We see that 5 times 1 equals 5, so we need to put a 5 under the 6 and a 1 in the first, up in the first box. We need to subtract. The 1 go to the second box, and our new number is 15. We look at our multiplication chart and see that 5 times 3 equals 15. So we need to put a 3 up on the second box and subtract. We need to put a 0 on the third box and need to see that 5 times 1 equals 5. So the 5 will be under the other 5 and subtract. Also put the 1 up in the third box. 
So our quotient is 131.